wife uh, tried to start this this morning, cold, and it was not idle. Uh, so, as you can hear, the air conditioner turn on and off because the idle is too slow. Let's see what the idle is. Uh, just below 500, probably like four. 400. There's the mileage. And just recently filled up with fuel. So, uh, the uh, engine light is off at this moment. I'm going to see if there are any shows in there. Uh, just a real fast demonstration. Uh, one of the Test on. If you wanted to test your EGR system, this is the valve here. Your EGR solenoid is right there with the brown connector on it. And then it has this vacuum line that runs up here. If you want to test it, to see if the EGR actually works, pinch that hose. And you can see it stalls the engine. So, I just wanted to kind of touch on that. A lot of people are replacing valves, EGR valves, for no reason. Most likely, it's going to be that solenoid right here. Um, so that's just a real fast and easy test of the system that will bypass that solenoid. Uh, another way, you can remove this and using an ohm meter, uh, one that is okay should read about uh, 40 ohms, right about there. And uh, one that is no grid will either read open or a higher than 40 ohm uh, resistance. So, anyway, uh, let's find out what's going on here. Okay, this is the code that we have PO506 idle control system, RPM lower than expected. And as we saw, the RPM is not correct. All right. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. This is your idle air control motor here, servo. Uh, you want to disconnect this six-pin harness off of it. All right. Now the way that this works is you have positive, positive, in the middle. So it's going to be this middle one and this middle one. And when you test them, you're going to use your multimeter, all right? <clears throat> and you want to run from, so you want to ohm out from that lead to that lead and then from that lead to that lead and the same with over here this one to this one and then this one to this one so let's see what we have Eight point one, uh, seven point eight, and nine point zero. All right, that was on the left side. Let's do the right. Thirty six. Okay, so it seems as though we have a failed idle air control motor servo because when we ohmed out this side on the left, that's when we had our uh, 7.0 ohms and 9.0 ohms, and then on the other side here, 
we had 35 and a half and 36. So, unfortunately, I'm faced with an expensive repair. <laughs> but I hope this helps anybody out there uh, with trying to diagnose a uh, faulty IAC or idle problem. And if you do experience that idle problem, this, do not mess with that screw in there. Um, you need to have a fan tool hooked up to it and set it into base idle before you even mess with that. So that is not to compensate for your idle problem. Also be sure your throttle bore is uh, clear and you don't have any carbon buildup. I had just recently done a uh, induction service on this so I have a feeling that that may have caused my failure but we'll see.